minute displacement means that Honda's turbocharged motor has one thing in common with the screamers that forged the C's reputation, a dearth of torque at low RPM. Give it a couple of seconds to build boost and it'll recover, but you do not want to skip gears in the 2017 SI any more than you would in an older one. And even once the pinwheel wakes up, this generation's trade of the old high RPM rip for anonymous turbo hormone isn't one we'd have voted for. Know what else has a boosted 1.5 liter? The Chevrolet Malibu. The two don't sound as different as you might wish. On the other hand, the EPA must be quite pleased with Honda's new engine. The last Civic SI managed all of 31 mpg on the highway cycle, with in-town consumption of just 22 mpg and a combined figure of 25. This new one picks up 6 mpg in the city cycle and 7 on the highway for totals of 28 and 38, with a combined rating of 32. Maintaining 75 miles per hour on a 200 mile highway loop, we saw 36, though, as with its predecessor, premium is recommended for the 2017 car. In 450 miles of mixed driving, we averaged 26 mpg. But if the engine no longer feels special, the transmission picks up some of the slack. A 6-speed manual is the only gearbox available in the SI, and it enjoys a revised linkage and fortified shifter mount for snappy, direct operation with just a little bit of shimmy through the gates.